टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंक्रीज इन आर्टीरियल प्रेशर ड्यूरिंग एक्सरसाइज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट हाउ इंक्रीज इन आर्टीरियल प्रेशर अकर्स ड्यूरिंग एक्सरसाइज एंड वाई इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट द आर्टीरियल प्रेशर शुड इंक्रीज ड्यूरिंग एक्सरसाइज so basically we have started our new chapter about the muscle blood flow and cardiac output during exercise coronary circulation and ischemic heart disease we have in our last few lectures discussed the normal blood flow to the muscles and the increase in blood flow to the muscles that occurs during exercise similarly we discussed the effects of sympathetic discharge on blood flow during exercise and the factors the factors which basically affect the blood flow during exercise due to sympathetic discharge are also contributing to the increase in arterial pressure during exercise in our last lecture we discussed that the effects of sympathetic discharge on blood flow during exercise are increase in the heart rate increase in the pumping strength of the heart contraction of the peripheral arterioles and contraction of the veins and increase in mean systemic filling pressure these were the factors which basically increased the blood flow to the exercising muscles but these same factors the same sympathetic discharge also helps it also helps the in increasing the arterial pressure during exercise now it is important to increase the blood flow during exercise because the exercising muscles need more blood flow but to increase the blood flow the arterial pressure should also increase because the arterial pressure also helps in increased blood flows or the blood flow supply so if here we have our heart and the heart is basically pumping the blood which is known as the cardiac output and here we have the muscle and then from the muscles or from the body the blood is coming back to the heart in the form of venous return so heart is pumping the blood which is known as cardiac output that blood is going to the peripheral uh, vessels and those vessels are uh, like giving blood to the uh, different tissues where the blood is needed or the nutrients are needed and then the deoxygenated blood is coming back to the heart in the form of venous return now when when a person starts exercising the, due to exercise the the demand of the muscles increase that is something which we discussed in our last lecture as well and to fulfill the demands of the exercising muscles there is a sympathetic discharge the sympathetic nerves get activated and what they do that signals signals come from the brain and spinal cord to the heart and the peripheral vessel now these signals they increase the heart rate they excite the heart so the heart rate the normal heart rate is increased and the heart the when the heart starts pumping more it starts pumping more blood similarly it strengthens the pumping effect or the force of the heart so the the pumping of the heart becomes uh, more forceful and more powerful and so it also helps in increasing the blood flow to the exercising muscle now we discussed one important thing in our last lecture that another factor another factor that contributes to the increased blood flow to the muscles which are active in exercise is contraction of the peripheral arterioles now in the body there are some muscles which are not needed during exercise so these muscles these muscles will not be needing more blood and more nutrient so the contraction the contraction of the blood vessels which are supplying blood to these muscles where the more extra blood is not needed where it is not needed it will be more forceful the contraction the contraction of the peripheral arterioles that are supplying blood to those muscles which are not needed during exercise will be more forceful 
बट विजो डायलेटरी इफेक्ट विजो डायलेटरी इफेक्ट वेजो डायलेटरी इफेक्ट विल बी विल बी मोर पावरफुल इन दोज मसल्स विच आर एक्टिव और वी आर विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन एक्सरसाइज सो द ब्लड विल इंक्रीज टू दोज मसल्स विच आर एक्टिव और विच आर बींग यूज इन द एक्सरसाइज एंड द ब्लड विल डिक्रीज द ब्लड फ्लो विल डिक्रीज टू दोज मसल्स वे आर द ब्लड इज नॉट नीडिड और एक्स्ट्रा ब्लड इज नॉट नीडिड एंड दैट इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ कंट्रेक्शन ऑफ द पेरिफरल आर्टीरियल्स और द ब्लड वेसल्स विच आर सप्लाइंग ब्लड टू द मसल्स बट दीज इफेक्ट्स द इंक्रीज इन द हार्ट रेट द इंक्रीज इन द पंपिंग स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द हार्ट द कंट्रेक्शन ऑफ द पेरिफरल आर्टीरियल्स एंड फाइनली द कंट्रेक्शन ऑफ द वेन्स ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स आर बेसिकली ड्यू टू द सिंपथेटिक डिस्चार्ज और ड्यू टू द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम and all these factors all these factors which are basically increasing the blood flow during exercise they are also contributing in the increase in the arterial pressure increase in the arterial pressure now the final factor which helps in increasing the blood flow and also in increasing the arterial pressure is contraction of the veins and increase in mean systemic filling pressure these veins these veins are taking blood flow to the muscles to the heart and these veins are normally relaxed or they are baggy or they are sac like so due to the sympathetic discharge due to the activation of sympathetic nerves due to the vasoconstrictor action these veins also gets contracted and the the filling pressure the mean systemic filling pressure the pressure which is helping the blood move toward the heart or which is forcing the blood move toward the heart also increases so all these factors due to the sympathetic nerve in uh, activation or due to the sympathetic discharge during exercise not only increases the blood flow not only increases the blood flow to the exercising muscles but it also increases the arterial pressure now normally the arterial pressure is around 60 to 100 mm of mercury the arterial pressure is basically the pressure the pressure that the blood is putting on the arteries or on the walls of the blood arteries or the arterioles the arterial pressure is the pressure it is basically different from blood pressure blood pressure is basically calculated uh, in the cardiac cycle is in uh, is in relation to the systole and diastole in relation should in relation should be uh, to the contraction and dilatation in uh, in relation should uh, to the uh, heart systole and diastole so blood blood pressure is basically related to the systole and diastole but arterial pressure is not related to the systole or diastole it is not related with the contraction and relaxation of the heart rather it is related with the force that the blood is applying on the wall on the walls of the arteries and to calculate the mean arterial pressure we need of uh, an equation which is like 2 into di- diastolic pressure plus systolic pressure divided by 3 now this equation is used to calculate the mean arterial pressure but the the question of our lecture or the main thing or the the point of this lecture is that how the increase in arterial pressure occurs during exercise so the answer is due to the increase in heart rate due to the pumping effect uh, pumping effectiveness of the heart or more forceful forceful contraction of the heart due to contraction of the peripheral arterioles especially in those muscles where blood extra blood is not needed and finally due to contraction of the veins and increase in the mean systemic filling pressure which is the pressure due to filling of the veins when more blood is coming in the veins there is more filling pressure and more mean systemic filling pressure and it helps in pushing or pumping more blood towards the heart now finally why the mean systemic filling pressure oh sorry why the increase in arterial pressure is important why the increase in arterial pressure is important during exercise or during exercise 
why is it important to increase the arterial pressure so the answer is that if the arterial pressure increase if the arterial pressure increase it will put more stress on the walls of the blood vessels and they will they will be able and the these uh, this force this force will basically help in taking more blood or bringing more blood to the muscles where more blood is needed so the answer to why the increase in arterial pressure is important during exercise is that due to increase in the arterial pressure there is more force on the walls of the blood vessels and due to more force more blood comes to the muscles or to the exercising muscles or the muscles where more blood is needed now depending upon the type of exercise depending upon the type of exercise the increase in arterial pressure is variable the increase in arterial pressure is variable if if few muscles are involved if few if few muscles are involved in the exercise for example only deltoid muscles are involved then the increase in arterial pressure will be more because most of the muscles are not being used because most of the arterial uh, muscles are not being used so the contraction the contraction in most of the muscles will be uh, more most of the muscles will not be receiving extra blood and the arterioles will have contraction because we discussed that the muscles which are not needed in the exercise they they have more contraction as compared to vasodilation so the few when few muscles are being used in exercise when few muscles are being used in exercise then most of the muscles which are not being used they are in their arterioles are in contraction so it leads to an increase or more increase in the arterial pressure but if in exercise all the muscles are being used if all the muscles are being used in exercise for example in swimming or running when all the muscles of the body are used then all the muscles have vasodilatory effect all of the muscles are having vasodilatory effects so there is less increase in arterial pressure there is in an increase in the arterial pressure there is always an increase in the arterial pressure but the art increase in arterial pressure is more when few muscles are being used in the exercise because the rest of the muscles uh, not involved in exercise will have contraction of the arterioles so there will be more increase in the arterial pressure but when all the muscles are being used when all the muscles are being used so all the arterioles of all the muscles will have vasodilatory effect so there will be less increase in the arterial pressure suppose for example there is normally an increase from 20 mm of mercury to around 80 mm of mercury increase in arterial pressure depending upon the type of exercise if few muscles are being used if few muscles are being used then the remaining muscles will have contraction of their arterioles and there will be more increase in the arterial pressure but if all the muscles are being used in exercise and most of the muscles will have vasodilatory effect instead of the contraction then there will be less increase in the arterial pressure so that's all about the increase in the arterial pressure during exercise and we have discussed that how the increase in arterial pressure occurs during exercise and why is it important that the arterial pressure should increase so normally the, uh, the uh, increase in arterial pressure due to sympathetic discharge occurs due to increase in the heart rate due to pumping effects due to increased pumping effect of the heart due to contraction of the arterioles and due to contraction of the contraction of the veins and increase in mean systemic valve pressure so all these factors basically increase the arterial pressure now why is it important to increase it is important because it increases the blood flow during exercise 
it increases the blood flow during exercise and now how much increase how much increase more or less increase it depends upon the type of exercise if few muscles are involved in the exercise then there will be more increase in the arterial pressure because of vasoconstriction in most of the muscles which are not involved and if all the muscles are involved in exercise then there will be less increase in the arterial pressure because most of the muscles will have vasodilatory effect so that's all about the increase in arterial pressure during exercise thanks a lot for watching the video